Hello? Is this the style police? What happened? <gasps> Hold up. Now I know this ain't you, right? <laughs> Somebody's not wearing their watch. Is this you? Have you been reported by the style police? Hi guys, it's me Glampe, and today we're going to be talking about the next set of accessories that awesomely style up your outfit. As you remember in last week's video, I spoke about earrings and you can see <laughs> these are looking kind of, kind of fabulous, right? And just to show you guys quickly like what I'm wearing, I have this strapless top actually that I got from um, Zara and I've coordinated it with, yes you guessed it, a timepiece. As you can see, I'm going with the theme today for black and gold and also coordinating that with my earrings. So today I'm going to explain to you guys the different types of watches you can wear and why it's important to actually accessorize with a timepiece. First things first, are you this kind of person? If somebody asks you for the time, you have to take out your phone. Don't be that person, not in 2022. Invest in something classic like a timepiece, or better known as a watch. And I really like to go for two colors generally, but I do have a collection. Um, for today's video, I'm going to show you uh, two staples that you can have. The first one is obviously a silver watch. This goes with like everything and silver is really classy. And as you can see, I like my watches to have a little bit of bling bling some diamantes. If you're more of a simpler person, that's fine. Um, just make sure that you get a strap that is well suited for your um, wrist and just make sure it's not too loose or too chunky for myself. Like I said, I like something that always has a bit of glam to it. I will show you guys how I wear this. Um, I pair it with some jewelry like a ring. This is silver as well and it has this very cute black detail i think you guys can see or something shiny and simple like this swarovski band and paired together it looks really really nice so i'm just gonna take this one off and show you guys what i'm talking about i always wear mine on the left there are some people who wear it on the right you know do you that's kind of weird but just so as you can see, here's what it looks like, a watch and a ring, it just really completes your outfit, it adds something, I just don't know what it is, but I really like timepieces. The next one I'm going to show you is a second staple that I also like to have besides having a silver watch. I like uh, gold, but not this kind of gold, not like a yellow gold. I like a rose gold or a combination of white gold, and this is... A watch by Fossil. I think most of you know this brand. It's pretty affordable and it's really nice. They have a very, very nice line of women's watches as well. You can buy it online. So I'm going to show you how this looks on my wrist. And as you can see, this watch is kind of bulky. That's just the style that I like. But if you like something simpler, you can do a leather strap, a color leather strap even. But I just don't like wearing um, watches with a specific color because I feel that it limits my outfits and things that I can wear it with. So I often just go for your silvers or your golds. And like I say, mama likes them like me, okay? And here, I don't know if you guys can see, it has some diamantes around. And that's really cool because then you can wear it with, you can get away with mixing it with silver. Only in this instance. I don't usually mix gold and silver. For me, that's a style no-no. If you don't mind, that's fine. But just from my perspective, I think you should try to match golds with golds and silvers with silvers. And I'm just going to show you guys, you know, you can pair it with more than one ring. Be that person, right? It just adds something to your outfit. And finally, I'm going to show you when I have none of these things on, including the earrings. Just to drive the point home, also bringing it back to last week's video. See, pretty plain. That's it, that's how I look like. But let's take a second and just quickly accessorize. First things first, 
You want to start off without earrings, right? And I'm just going to do it with one side. Okay, I'm going to do it with one side uh, so you guys can see what a huge difference it makes. If I have just on a pair of earrings and a watch, I would really just styles up my outfit, jazz it up, and nothing. Accessories, right? And I'm going to put on my other earring. You're going to see the complete look. And voila, I'm going to put on my wedding ring. Always have to have that on. And that's such a huge difference, right? I'm not wearing anything hectic, I'm not too chunky, but I am coordinated and that really makes a huge difference in your outfit. Um, that was the second accessory that I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, watches are not for everyone, but it is a very good habit that you can learn starting slowly to accessorize maybe with some studs, a simple watch. And especially if you work in corporate, I think it's, you know, you don't always have access to your phone, perhaps during a meeting. So it's good to always have a timepiece on you as well. And just generally, I think watches are, you know, timeless things. They're very classy. And it says a lot about your personality. As you can see, mine are very shiny. Well, I'm a shiny person. But you don't have to go for something really blinding. And also, it doesn't have to be like a fancy brand. You know, like if you can afford, you know, a tag or, you know, fancy watch, good for you, send, send some my way. I'm just joking. But you can actually find pretty cool watches from places like Zara, from H&M, or just online stores. Even Fossil, like I said, is very affordable and they have a very nice line for women. And also for the guys, if you're watching this. You can also actually shop male watches from Fossil. They're really, really nice. They've got a sports um, section, which is, you know, complimentary if you're not the kind of person who likes something shiny. So thank you guys for watching my video. Um, and that is all I wanted to tell you today about accessories. In the next video, we're going to move on to clothing, items, statement pieces that you should have. I look forward to reading your comments. Lots of love. Clambe!